Welcome back to the MLG Fall Invitational here at Full Sail University. Map number two between Complexity and Optic Gaming is about to begin. And as you guys might notice, I got a special guest with me. It's Parasite from Unite Gaming. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Just waiting to play our next match. Just thought I'd get some casting in. All right, so you match up against Optic as the first game of the day. Unfortunately, you lost that series. But yeah. what'd you take away from that match? Uh, just uh, stop getting over eager, start working as a team, and make sure that you're on the same page the whole series. If you can't let up versus any of these teams, they're all uh, at, at the top for a reason. If you start making mistakes and stop like playing as a team and start playing individually, that's when you're going to lose. All about teamwork at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But did you happen to catch that first map between Complexity and Optic? Yeah, I was actually really close towards the end. I, I noticed Optic making some really big plays, lots of big two pieces in order to break hills and hold them. So, I mean, it was, it was a really intense series. What do you think is going to happen in this Capture the Flag? I think they're both really experienced teams. So when it comes to Capture the Flag, these guys have been playing this game mode for, you know, as long as it's been out, like three, four years now. So it's, it's going to be close. Who's going to win at the end of this? I think Cole. Complexity. Give me a player to watch off the start of this map. Krim. All right, so let's see what Krim is going to do here. So you see him? He's got three attachments on his M8, FMJ, Reflex, and Stock. Tell me about the FMJ kind of coming back into the game. We see a lot more players choosing to use mm -hmm. it. FMJ works really well when it comes to like breaking you know, areas of the map because it makes cover irrelevant. You can pretty much shoot through anything, and it's really easy to get map control when you, when you eliminate cover from the other players. All right, so what's kind of your role in capture flag? What do you like to do? I pretty much run an AR, same thing, FMJ, and I try to hold map control and push with my team. All right, so let's see what Big Time is going to do. He's an assault rifle for his thing. You see him kind of switch it up so far at this event, some machine gun AR, but now he's making his way to the complexity base. They have, they have oh, three down. It's up to Crim6. Now Aches off respawn, got a decent spawn up poolside, and that's exactly where Scumpy's going to be pulling this flag. So I'm expecting maybe TP to turn around, but this should end in a return for complexity. Aches finds the flag carrier, picks up the kill, and there's three. Yeah, that's a huge kill by Aix. He's actually, you know, halfway to getting a score streak. So if he just sits here and holds map control for the duration of the game, Optic's pretty much forced to push him. And if he picks up, oh, but he's dead. <laughs> yeah, you can say you just cursed him there. And yep. now TP almost got that flag pull out. But I actually had a chance to talk to TP at our PAX event. And he says in Capture Flag, you should start playing for your score streaks around three quarters of the way, which is where Nate Shot is right now. Nate Shot's actually going off streaks? right now. In Capture no, Flag, yeah. they're really important because if you can get those scores, like those flag stopping streaks, it's pretty much gonna, you can either delay or you can stop flags that are pretty much out of your base and, you know, just try to get those returns that could end up costing, costing you games. When do you decide to play for your streaks? How far up on the meter? If you're about halfway there in Capture the Flag, I'd play for them. In Hardpoint, I'd say if you're like two kills off to play for it. In Hardpoint, you kind of want to focus on your kills, focus on the points. Don't really focus on the score streaks. If you play the game the right way, they'll come. But in Capture the Flag, score streaks are extremely important, and you should p try to play with them, especially if you're getting you know, halfway, because they're game changing. All right, and I'm looking at the minimap as Jcap goes for a flag pull, was immediately shut down, but I loved how, what, how Optic was playing that right there. If you look at the minimap, they had one guy pull, one guy zigzag, and one guy pushing through the gym to try to flank yeah. around through the garage. Unfortunately, they weren't able to make anything happen from that, but it shows that they have good map presence right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. You want to try and play as spread out as possible. You don't want to just try to funnel your way through on certain areas. That kind of leaves overextend open, and if teams start to overextend and push out of the spawn, it's going to really cost you. And now you got Teep and Crim6 both hitting up. Crim now on a four kill spree. He's around halfway to earning himself the Hellstorm missile. And score streaks are something we haven't seen yet in this game. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop up the scoreboard so far from this game and see who's trying. Wow, Crim on top, eight and five, seven and five from Teep. Clay struggling a little bit, but still early on in the match as he sees Crim get shut down there. And let's hop on board with Big Timer now. In his matchup against you, he didn't have the best of performances with the mm -hmm. submachine gun, but now. He's switching back to where he got started with the assault rifle. What can you tell me about Big T's play style since you play against him a lot? Big T's a really smart player. He kind of likes to just, you know, get to a spot and hold it on the map. He's not really an aggressive player. He, he's very passive, but that plays into his play style because he's a smart player. Usually, if, if you're a passive player, chances are you're actually you know, really intelligent when it comes to the game. Because if you take your time and make, you know, very slowly executed moves, passive, it's going to play into you and you're going to play really well. And that was a huge kill by Jcap. Unfortunately, he gets taken out. And once again, Complexity are pushed way back into their base, spawning up near the side vents of the garage. But Optic, it seems like as they push Complexity back into their base, Complexity have been able to make that defensive hold time and time again. What does Optic need to do differently to get that flag outside of the base? They need to just like take their time. Like when, if you, you want to try to slay the other team in the base at least once or twice before you actually pull. So when you get them trapped in their base, don't just go for it right away. That's kind of that's getting really over eager, and that's what you know tends to cost teams pulls because they just they rush for the flag. They need to focus up on the kills, feed you know feed off some score streaks, and then go for the flag.
Okay, so a couple of cycle of kills, and then yeah. you go for the flag pulls from there. But I'm watching Nate shot right now, and he's got to do some defensive work. If you're looking at the mini map, they're getting pressured by three complexity members. He's going to peek out over towards basketball court. So there's a player waiting for him. It's going to be TP making his way up, and it looks oh. like Nate shot will pick up the kill. kill. Three Huge down right kill. now for complexity, and it looks like they're all a free spawn. Yeah, so in, in this situation, Optic's going to pretty much try to take map control, considering they just slayed the whole complexity team out of their base. Big T's in a really key position here. He just got the first kill on ring, so that kind of puts complexity in a 3v4 as Optic just gets set up in mid-map. But Waters just got taken out, so they're going to go ahead and fight for control again. Only 25 seconds remaining in the half. Optic Gaming are going for one final pull of this half. Big Timer getting shot from the back. Turn around the beat 23 r won't be able to clean up the kill onto TP, but Kaplan, he can push in. Actually, he's just going to hang back, try to get as many kills as he can going into the half. But he just gets dominated right there from Crip Six. Ten Still seconds remaining. Yeah, this is your scoreboard moving into the half. Yeah, so down. pretty much nobody's, nobody's on streaks. Everyone did pretty much their job in shutting down the other team and killing them off streaks. So it's pretty much an even game. We're going to go into the second side and we'll see who can close this out. If not, maybe in overtime. Okay, so on raid, do you have a more favorite side or a least favorite side? I think the more favored side would be like the laundry top jungle side because okay. if you can uh, you can manipulate the spawns for them to get that water spawn, you can actually sit there, feed kills off the blue car, spawn, kill the team, and then pull out. Okay. So you prefer being on the side that complexity is on right now? Yeah. I think I think complexity is going to make really big plays. They're they're really good at CTF in terms of being able to slay. Yeah. Outslay the other team. I know this Clay's not doing too well. If Clay steps it up on this side, it's gonna be it's gonna be really bad for Optic. And you saw that loadout that Clay was using, double EMPs along with fast hands. So this is clearly a breakout class. And yeah. He's just gonna use it off the start. Of course, EMPs they have a really big blast radius. They just toss them in the middle of the map, but off the start, it's gonna be Optic pushing well, through. One, one thing I just noticed there that Clay did was Clay had one burst in his gun and he didn't reload and he tried challenging and then he got rushed by two players. If he had more bullets in his gun and actually took the time to reload, he probably could have traded a kill. Or fended off the optic, you know, rush. Okay, so maybe I think he might have been EMP'd himself. Yeah. And that he didn't see how much bullets he had left. But mm -hmm. once again, you see Optic Gaming. They've been pushing complexity back in their base, but they have been able to get the flag out a good distance. Here comes JCap. Immediately goes for the pull on the other side of the map. It's going to be TP making something happen for complexity. We run into Big Timer. They can't pick up the kill. kill optic holds on. See, as you can see, Big T's kind of a passive player. You'll usually find a mid map. If not, he's by his base. This really plays into his play style as he can make those clutch, you know, plays the prevent flags from being pulled from the other team. And it seems right now both these teams are playing very safe. They're checking all yeah. their corners. They make sure that they're holding the key power spots on the map. Yeah. And you see Big Timer, he just got taken out there. So now it's going to be complexity on the aggression. This is one of the things I don't like, though. I don't like seeing these like, stalemate games where people are just sitting back and playing safe. I mean, you're playing at this point, you're playing not to lose. You're not playing to win. Okay. So what would you like to see differently from both these teams? I'd like There's to more see you know, teams get really start getting aggressive and start, you know, Playing for your kills. If you can play for those kills, get their score streaks, it's really going to play into winning the game. This is huge if he gets the two piece. Oh. oh, that was real close. Almost, but now you got JCap. Who's this alive? It's going to be Clacer making Placer something happen. Some but, defensive work. You know, both these teams are just constantly training kills at the opposing team's flag. It's been so close for either team to get that first yeah. pull. But, I mean, Optic, they've gotten a couple touches here and there, but they really haven't made any progression. And here comes Complexity. That's three down for Optic. Let's see if they can make this pull, if they can make this pull. The other team pretty much got a split spawn. That kill in middle is huge. There's going to be a guy coming up behind them in art. This is a huge kill if he can make it. He gets the return. Huge play by Skump. Oh my god, that was disgusting. And here comes Nate here comes on Nate the other side of the map. Someone He's got to be oh, no. picks up the kill. We'll be able to get the return, oh but out the game, god. they're not letting up just yet. Scumpy gets taken out. Ace Clay, so both ridiculous. picking up kills for complexity. So they are going to hold on to the base for the time being, but that was so close Scump for Optic. Almost there. got that flag so out. So close. Oh, I, I don't. I can't blame Nate Shot for that. I mean, he Water's a smarter place to run. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Water was the smartest place to run. But I mean, if he would have had knowledge of that split spawn, he could have gone middle. But realistically, he did all he could. Yeah, Crimson's just got a very lucky spawn, and he was able oh, to pick here up comes the kill. But here comes Optic dead. once again. Big timer. He's gonna be the first on spawn. spawn kill. Sees them crossing oh, back through stunned. jungle. Gets stunned. Won't be able to pick up any kills. But this is gonna force complexity to road all rotate back, and I assume Optic, they're probably going to wait for Big Time to respawn before they make another stab at this push. Yeah, this guy basketball here is key. If he can hold basketball for the duration of the game, or the duration of this push, they can make some plays. But he decides to go for a pull. This is a huge kill. He gets shut down. Yeah, Crimson had positioning there. He was just waiting for the flag carrier to run into his direction. Now Big Timer, last one live. That's three down. This player that's in money, Big T, he's he's playing. This is this is such a smart move. He's just sitting in money. He's just camping. He's waiting. He's gonna come up behind the complexity team, and you know force them to lose map control. This is a huge play. This opens up the map, 
and he's gonna—he might be able to go for this pull. If he can go for this pull, this actually might be huge for Optic. They're forcing them to make a play happen. You saw in the mini round complexity; they didn't know what to do. As Big Timer went for a pull, do we rotate back? It's gonna be Clayson now with their combo. Big Timer, he oh, got shut down. There's gonna be a cap for complexity. That. There goes, that was J-Cap getting taken out. It's all up to Scumpy on the other side of the map. Has to keep this play going for his he team. Has to, he has to be quick about this. He's going to take it ring if he, oh, no, he's going to, oh, what, what's going to happen? Oh, Yuchka! man, finding Yuchka! TP right there. And Clayster, he's this getting surrounded. This is going to be a huge. return made for out the game. Scumpy gets taken out inside the kitchen. The return is made by made both teams, but here comes Crip6. Oh he's going for another pull for complexity. He's also halfway towards his score streaks. One player behind him. This is going to be J-Cap. I can't see Crim getting out of this. Oh, no. You see, this is what I like to see. These are the games that are really entertaining to watch, and it's also the games where, you know, you know the crowd gets really into it because both teams are making plays, both teams are, you know, playing really risky. At the same time... Oh, 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 oh no! That was shot. disgusting! But he's running it towards them. This could be oh, huge. Yeah. Oh. And that is three down for Optic once again. Both these teams go back and mate. forth. Ape's leading the way for his squad. They need to pick up kills right now if they want this cat. Yeah, nobody's getting streaks, which is insane. They're just trading kills left and right. Oh, nice shot by, my, nice shot by Cap there. All right, so now we're going to overtime here. You see Optic Gaming, they're just playing a bit more reserve, trying to pick up a couple more more kills, which means more yeah. score going into overtime. But here are your final stats. You see Aix on top for Complexity and Big T for Optic. I, I just think right now the Optic scoreboard looks pretty, you know, you know, even. The Complexity scoreboard, it's pretty much, you know, top three, Aix, Krim, and T doing well, but Clay slacking. I think if, if Clay can pick it up, that's going to give them the extra push because he, he's their AR. He's their main assault rifle player. And the assault rifle is key on this game mode because you hold mid map, you can slay, you can push up for spawn kills, and he's just not doing that right now. And what's crazy about it is the game is still insanely close. I think if, if Clay plays the key here, if Clay picks it up, and start some slaying and going for the spawn kills, he, their Cole's gonna take this. Not only that, he's the hype man for the team. Yeah. So being able to shut someone down, that's supposed to bring energy to the team. That's working huge very problem, well for definitely. Optic, but you also gotta give it to Big Timer. Earlier yeah. in the day, he was struggling with the summer machine gun, but he's on top he's first thing here in CTF. He's, he's doing really well. I mean, it's, it's really going back and forth. They're, these teams, they're, they're starting to kind of play more aggressive. They're playing high risk. I know, yeah, high risk, but higher reward type of thing. He finds one in the kitchen, immediately cleaned up, but now you got Nate shot with that hand, looking for more kills. Looks like he's gonna get some help from his buddy Scumpy there. Nate but shot's about halfway, like a quarter to halfway. If he can play for these streaks and get them, this is gonna come up huge for Optic on the next side if he decides to save them, but unfortunately he gets taken down. Jcap here is on a two kill streak, so he's he's getting pretty close as well. If he can get, you know, maybe a few more kills, he'll be yeah. close to streaks. That's that's okay. big. That might key him to maybe drop back a bit, try to earn those streaks, because yeah. that's the one thing that's been missing from this game is somebody earning those streaks. They've been kind of close, but Everyone I think... gets about halfway and they get shut down, so... Yeah, I think... Once you realize you're on a roll like J-Cap or Big Timer, these streaks could really turn the tide yeah, of the definitely. game. So even if you waste a minute, a minute and a half earning them, yeah. I think it'll benefit in it the long run. It just benefits in the long run. And the thing about this is he's playing really aggressive. He's playing really risky. And at this point, he's halfway to streaks. I'd just back up, hold map control, and let Complexity push him rather than him pushing Complexity. Well, he's able to actually sneak past Clacer and Crimsix. Could make a play for his team, but he's just playing sneaky, which means that they don't have that much presence on the map. So it's a trade-off here. If his teammates are able to hold on defensively, uh -oh. Cap could go for a pull, but he's been spotted, and he will get shut down. Yeah, see, both teams are playing really... Oh, that was a oh, good try. But they're both playing kind of slow. They're, like, you'll notice if there's a guy in their base that sneaks through, they got two in the base right, ne right near him. Like, as you saw, J-Cap slipped through, but there was two by Art. Like, they're, they're playing really slow, really campy. At the same time, it's a safer way to play, but it's, it's not the best way to play if you want to win. Mm -hmm. You said it before there. At this point, it's not playing to win. It's playing not, not to, to lose. lose. Just to draw out the game as much mm -hmm. as possible until somebody makes a mistake. And that's how capture flag is. You got to grind it out at the end of the day. But here comes another flag pull. This one going to come from TP. But you got Jcap to get past. Huge kill. Almost oh, took him out no. there. Clutch kill from Jcap. That's cool. extremely clutch kill. If, if, if TP would have got that, he pretty much would have been gone. Because as you can see, there's another player at basketball contesting him. He would have the support. But. Unfortunately, he couldn't get it. And now here comes Scumpy, choosing to take control of the ringside of the map. Just saw one player sneak through. And now put yourself in Scumpy's shoes. Granted, if you He's don't dead. get killed there from TP, would you recommend maybe sneaking around all the way through driveway? Uh, no, that's the risky play to do. I think what he should have done is he would have held the ring. And as you saw, that player came out of art. If he would have killed that guy art, he could have like pushed up, got map control, and set up on the blue car, and maybe caught one or two complexity members off the spawn. Three down for Optic Gaming as he takes out Scump. It is all up to big timer off free spawn. You see him spawning in the backside of the laundry. No this score tricks available with them. And if oh, TP gets this cap, he's going to be so close to the health big, big T just made a huge kill, but I just don't think it's going to be possible for them to stop it. Teep's already pretty much three-fourths of the way to the flag, and he's gone. 
TP looks like he will be able to capture flag for complexity with a minute 56 seconds. So doing some quick math, that's around three minutes, four seconds off the gaming half. But keep in mind, TP around a kill away from those streaks. Yeah, so he, if he were smart, he's going to play for them. Uh, he's going to spawn jungle side. So generally, I'd like to see him in kitchen money just, you know, playing for those streaks. Another way he could play is just hide laundry and try to get into ring because once you get in that ring and you're in those head glitches, it's actually very hard to kill the, the player. So there's your scoreboard moving into the final overtime here. 26 and 24, but I'm looking at his class, so I'm actually surprised he doesn't have some sort of double trophy system class or a double yeah. EMP class. Try again, EMP assist or mm -hmm. trophy kills. And that's going to cost him. Aww. But on the flip side, great kill for Optic, as that's two down off the start. Krim needs to stay alive inside the kitchen here, but it's going to be oh, scuffy. a huge Why kill by Nade. Like three kills, he immediately gets shut down. Here comes Jcap trying to follow up the kill. Does find another one on the flag, but he gets in shut down. In that situation, Nature kind of got over eager. He killed Krim and just ran out of money blindly, and he was hoping that he didn't get killed, but unfortunately he got shut down. If he would have kind of just held there for a bit and waited for his teammate, Jcap was right with him, so he could have easily helped him, but he kind of got over eager, and that, that kind of cost him map control. Aix is actually getting pretty close to streaks. So oh, he got him. And he's, he's got a health storm. If he can get this lightning strike, this is going to be huge, and it's pretty. It, I think it would solidify a win for complexity here. So I guess Teep getting taken at the start of the round doesn't really, really mean much for complexity. That's huge. Yeah, now Aix will be working for the war machine, and he could find it here in the bottom here pool. There's the shot. So just MSMC does get oh, shut down, but down. you know he's got those flag stopping score yeah. streaks. It's, it's definitely doable. Like they can definitely try to like win this. They're just gonna have to really draw out those streaks. They have like a push or two to draw out the streaks. If not, that last final push, they're gonna have to dodge them, and that's gonna be extremely difficult, especially with complexity and their map knowledge and the way they spread on the map. They're definitely not gonna let it happen. Only one player at the complexity base is Clayser, and Nate shot. He's actually made his way inside a great position. If his teammates pick up it's a couple kills, sneaky. just do some slang. This Nate could go huge. for the pull. That kill in Kitchen's huge. But they're going to be wrapping back. Nate shot's going to have to try to get a kill here on Aix. He saw the grenade come through. Finding Aix on the flag. Picks up the kill. Now moving for the flag. flag. But there are two complex ring. members no, in his map. Here comes Crips. They can't pick up the kill. Three turn will be made. And Krim now one kill away from even more streaks. Yeah, in that situation, I would have just ran ring. I mean, his teammates just died Kitchen. So, I mean, they're obviously in Kitchen. He should have taken the long route, you know, try to get it out. Instead, he tried to go for the gunfight, and it just cost him that flag. Pool. Yeah, he also saw the grenade coming from yeah. Ace, so he should have known that the spawns were on poolside or yeah. basketball courts. But here it goes, big timer leading the way. Flag will be big, big, big timer oh, no. can't get Run. away. The team kill coming. This it's going to be Nate Shot making the run, but keep in mind the, the score streaks are all bearable. Here, here comes the lightning strike from Ace. Nate Shot going to try to get the score oh, possible. No. Two go down, three oh, dead. Four dead for Optic oh, Gaming. No. And not only that, Cryptic is running this flag the middle. Oh you man, more this. score streaks. Ace more finds them all streaks. off respawn. The return has been made. Crimsix, he's gonna put this flag in. Complexity are gonna Complexity win series. this over Optic 2-0. to zero. And just like that, you see the Complexity guys so hyped up. What an amazing match, and here's a round ending kill cam from TP. I, I think what really ruined it for him there was when that lightning strike caught called in, he just kept going. He should have, he could have easily cut into the, into the Tiki bar, mm -hmm. and if he would have stayed alive there, that would have been huge. But unfortunately, cool. One. Complexity come out on top this time, Whoa. and they will advance to the grand finals. Your first team there. Look at the scoreboard. Aix, 40 and 30, leading the way for his team. Aix, Aix dropped double 40s. That was the second 40 in a row. That was absolutely insane. Aix going off this day. There you see the guys shaking hands, but Complexity punch their ticket to the grand finals of the MLG Fall Invitational. Coming up next. Aix, Aix just said, Clay, it's okay, dude. Let me take over. <laughs> But coming up next, it's going to be Unite Gaming going up against FaZe. Parasite, you got to go set up. But before you get over there, who's going to win that match? I think we'll win it, hopefully. Map score? 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Parasite protecting his own, own team to win. That match is coming up after this quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere.